Hi guys, I'm Boris. I'm happy that you're here on my YouTube channel. And today I wanted to talk to you about the lenses that I use when I shoot photography for my clients. Uh, I recently posted an article on my website called The Perfect Lens for Instagram. Uh, but in fact, uh, it's more of a clickbait title because there is no perfect lens for Instagram and there is no perfect lens uh, for anything. I just want to show you the different lenses that I use uh, on different occasions and I will explain you why and how I use them. Um, showing you the scene that you just saw on that side uh, at different focal lengths. So let's start. I started my career in photography about 12 years ago with one camera body and one lens. Um, I bought the 5D Mark II, which was the best camera at that time, 2008, or one of the best cameras uh, at the time. And I invested in one lens because I bought the body separately from the lens. I bought the 24 to 105 lens. Uh, come on, focus. 24 to 105 lens, but I bought the L lens. I bought the fast lens, the F4 lens, all the way through. Uh, and I loved this beast. I dropped it a couple of times. It has been through the mill. Uh, but back then, I uh, used to shoot social events. I used to shoot um, people and I needed the versatility of a normal, actually wide angle lens, 24 millimeter, to normal, about 35, 50 millimeter, to uh, telephoto lens, which is 105, goes to the telephoto um, spectrum of the lens. Over the years, though, I have uh, started doing different types of photography. Right now, I'm shooting more for clients, for Instagram, for Facebook. Um, I'm shooting products. I'm shooting um, here in the studio, the scene that you just show, uh, you just saw. Sorry. So I have accum accumulated uh, a bunch of different lenses. Right now, I'm shooting on the EOS R with a uh, 15 to 35 RF lens, which is an amazing lens. I love it but I don't use it to shoot for uh, Instagram here in the studio or for Facebook here in the studio that much. I use different types of lenses. The second lens actually after this thing broke, uh, I bought a 24 to 70 and I, come on, there it is, a 24 to 70 with a macro capability which is an amazing lens and I still use this lens. It's also an L lens the red ring. Uh, so I've always invested in fast lenses, in L lenses, until I bought my first uh, telephoto lens. My first telephoto lens is not an L lens, it's a pretty slow one, but I figured that I'm going to be shooting during the day, outside, when I'm traveling, so this is a 70 to 300 millimeter lens, it's a pretty uh, heavy lens, I love it actually. And believe it or not, I use it more and more in the studio to shoot pictures for Instagram and for Facebook for clients, especially when um, especially when we have to shoot something on a small background, as you saw just before. And this is the idea of this video. I wanted to explain why I use those lenses. This is my macro 50 millimeter lens, which is a pretty slow to focus lens. It's a fast lens in terms of f in terms of f-stops, uh, but it's a slow to focus lens. And I use, for Instagram, I use mainly those two, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. So whenever I have to shoot a scene like this, that you're seeing behind me, you see that I, I don't have that much space, I don't have a very big background uh, where I can shoot my scenes, so um, I need to utilize the space as much as possible. And that's why I usually grab this lens. This lens has a pretty narrow field of view. Uh, the field of view actually is the angle of the lens right now. Uh, again, I'm shooting uh, uh, on a 15 to 35 millimeter lens. I'm shooting in 4K on the EOS R, which has a crazy crop. So um, right now I have opened my lens to 15 millimeters. So I have a pretty wide angle of view. But when I want to shoot something like this, the scene that is behind me, I usually use this lens. This lens has a narrow field of view, narrow angle. And I'm going to show you here on the computer how this looks. 
So I have shot six images at six different focal lengths with the different lenses that I have um, to show you how uh, and why I prefer to use this lens when I shoot for Instagram on a small background like this one uh, than uh, this one that I'm using right now to shoot videos. Uh, I'm starting with the 50mm uh, which uh, actually I'm showing you the unedited images right from Lightroom. I have just imported them but here, here it is, 15mm. Uh, 15mm, it's a ridiculous image. Uh, I have so much background, everything is blown out and I'm shooting at uh, f2.8 at 100 ISO. Uh, anyway, uh, this is something that I don't want to use for my Instagram or for my Facebook posts. So I moved 35mm to the uh, longest range of this lens that I'm using right now. And you can see how much of the background I have cropped in. The bottle is basically the same size. Well, there is some distortion here because uh, I'm using a wide angle lens and with wide angle lens, there is usually a bunch of artifacts, a bit of distortion. So my next image is the 50 millimeter lens. This lens, uh, it actually has the converter to uh, the RF mount. So you can see the difference from 35 to 50 millimeters. Again, the ball is the same size, basically at the same, basically at the same place, but I have cropped in even a little bit more of the, uh, the background. So going to 70 millimeters, a bit more crop, and then I go to 176. I wanted to do uh, 180, but 176 is a good approximation here. You can see uh, how much more of the background I have cropped. So to achieve this effect with the different focal lengths, I actually have to physically move my camera back and forth depending on the focal length that I use. The smaller the focal length, at 50 millimeters, I'm very close to my subjects. So I have a very wide angle of view and I have to be very close to the subject so it has the same size as it is here in, on the screen. This is 180 millimeters and 176, I'm sorry, and this is 15 millimeters. So I have to be very close and when I'm very close with a wide angle, angle lens, I, I have a very big background, something that I don't have here. So I move back and I decrease the field of view by increasing the focal length. So I can go backwards, but because my angle, angle of view is very narrow, I can crop in uh, and I can remove most of my background. So something interesting, when I started shooting, I used to shoot wide angle, 24 millimeters mainly. I love the 15 to 35, but lately I have uh, found that I reach for this lens. This is again the 70 to 300 variable f-stop f4 to f5.6, which is a ridiculously slow lens when you think about it. Uh, a lens that I bought for um, travel photography, for shooting outside, um, a telephoto lens, shooting birds, shooting stuff like that. Uh, something that was pretty cheap, but I mainly use this lens when I have to shoot stuff on a background, like the one that I've shown you just before. Uh, and if you want to learn a little bit more about the angle of view explained uh, with graphics and with more examples, you can just go down below, click on the link and go to my uh, article that is on my website and you can read it. It's a pretty short, nice article. I hope that that was interesting for you. I'm going to leave you and uh, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.